Hemorrhage case 2 is a 70 year old with headache and left facial droop. Here we have a couple of images from a head CT. We have an axial image on the left uh, showing a little bit of a subtle hypertensity here in the posterior aspect of the frontal lobe. Here on the sagittal reconstruction, you see it there, kind of just above the sodium fissure. You're concerned that that's a hemorrhage. So here are some images from an MR. Uh, what you see is some edema. We have a little area that's relatively T2 iso intense to the adjacent uh, gray matter. Here on susceptibility weighted imaging, you've got a little bit of a kind of rounded area of susceptibility there. Uh, here now we have pre and post contrast. You have your pre contrast T1 on the left and your post contrast T1 on the right. Now you see a ring enhancing lesion here. Uh, so you've got a lot of enhancements and it's not intrinsic T1 shortening. So that's uh, something you've got to consider. Uh, you also want to look like maybe there's a little bit of enhancement uh, over on the other side. Um, so when we look at this, uh, what we see is one hemorrhage, but we have uh, on the MR, we're seeing other lesions. Uh, the location that you have is a cortical or subcortical. Uh, this patient is 70 years old. Um, we don't really know additional history about this person, but the things we want to think about is uh, do they have a history of malignancy? Uh, were they hypertensive? Uh, are they septic? Like what uh, kind of other things do we have going on there? Uh, in this case, we have uh, chest CT. Uh, they have a mass here in the left lung. Uh, so this is a uh, worrisome for a primary malignancy, uh, which makes that uh, much more concerning for metastatic disease. So this is a case of metastatic disease. Um, approximately 50% of brain masses are metastases. They usually occur at the gray-white junction. Many of them, I mean the vast majority will enhance. Uh, they often don't have that much edema. Now this is something that you need to know. Approximately 50% of brain metastases are going to be solitary meaning you'll have a single lesion, so that's definitely something that you need to keep in mind. The most common primaries for which you'll see brain metastases are lung, breast, and melanoma, so definitely keep those things in mind.